for the students who had confirmed they will march to Chamber of Mines and they are doing just that, Nandi. They are marching right now. You can see from the visuals, they are going towards, walking towards Nelson Mandela Bridge and they will be uh, marching to Chamber of Mines and also handing over a memorandum uh, to the officials at the Chamber of Mines. Now, we also have student activist Mdrebo Ndlamini who joins us on the phone line. Thank you very much for joining us and taking the time during your um, protest there to uh, speak to us. Now, I understand that a lot of the students seem to want Adam Habib to speak to them directly. There's been a lot of comments going on about him speaking to the media and not directly to the students. Has he uh, given you any indication as to whether he will address uh, the students at all? Well, uh, Adam Abib has failed to meet us as students halfway and has refused to, to meet us, at least to engage us on uh, what we had asked uh, him to do. So now what we have uh, decided to do is that uh, we are going on with the interdict. We have already served the university with a notice that we are going to interdict the referendum. So our decision now, we have taken a legal decision to interdict the, the referendum. We no longer want to talk to him because he doesn't want to talk to us. But what we are doing is that we are interdicting the referendum. And uh, our papers are already ready. A, a, notice of, uh, a motion of notice has already been sent to the university. Now in the referendum, what does it outline exactly? We don't know what a referendum is. Uh, only him and his uh, people know what a referendum is. It's an animal that is new to us, that we are very scared of. Uh, we are saying we want a student assembly, not a referendum. Because if Adam Habib chooses that from now on, everything at university will be done through referendum. He must also be ready for a referendum that will say Adam Habib must go. Because it's bringing a new culture in the university that is not regulated and it doesn't form in any of the statutes of the university. So that's our humble submission to say in the university governing policies and rules, there is nowhere where it speaks of a referenda. So we don't know where he got the referendum and where he got the power to talk about a referendum. Because in the powers that he has, the powers of a vice chancellor, doesn't have powers to change rules willy-nilly. So we reject the referendum and we have already interdicted it. Uh, we expect the university to have responded to our advocates by now because a notice of uh, a, a, a motion has been sent to them. Now you seem to have picked up quite a bit of support from students, from Kosato, etc. Um, how long do you think this uh, protest will continue until? Because um, already academic activity has been put on a halt. How long do you think this, this protest will continue until? Well, uh, to be honest with you, we are also uh, worried about the disruption of uh, academic program. But uh, this one is the main goal. This one is, the, is bigger than just two weeks. And because this is a lifetime. When we talk about free education, it's a lifetime and for generations to come. It's not all about us who just want to graduate and leave. So we expect that government is the one who must be considering about the, 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 the number of days which are being lost through them playing hide and seek instead of giving. Because at the end, government will give us free education. What is it? Why are they now delaying academic program when they know eventually they will give us free education? Rather, they give us now. And now it seems that uh, authorities, government, uh, politicians, the minister, etc., they seem to have sort of answered uh, your, your questions in terms of students um, and trying to come together and make a solution. But it seems that they seem to be taking you lightly. Do you feel this as, as the students, that uh, they are taking you lightly? Well, come again. I missed your question. I'm very much sorry. No, it's fine. Um, I was saying that government and the authorities seem to be responding to students in a very light manner. Do you feel that they are taking you students lightly? Well, uh, yes, the, the black government is taking black students lightly. Not just black, uh, not just students lightly, but they are taking lightly every matter that speaks of the uh, of transformation. They take lightly every matter that speaks of restoring the dignity of a black child. 
the, this government don't just take lightly students. They take lightly everything that speaks of blackness. Well, thank you very much. That was Mme Bontamini, student activist there on the phone line. We're also going back to our ANN7 reporter, Calden Ongmu, who is at the march.